What's up guys welcome back to my channel Sami Asim Khan here and today I am proudly presenting you the Honza Echo 2.4 liter EX 2017 model which is currently the latest variant in the Honda Accord family special thanks to Honda Alfotem UAE for making this review possible now without wasting any further time let's get into the car so basically Honda has just released the newer variants of the Honda Accord 2017 model uh, basically it is not available currently in the dealerships of the UAE but as soon as it reaches the dealerships I will be making the review on the Honda Echo 2018 model. For now enjoy the 2017 model. Now being honest Honda Echo is one of my favorite cars of Honda and the reason is that it has a very nice finishing on the interior with a very nice touchings of the glossy looks as well as the wooden door panels. This flagship from Honda provides you with a 2.4 liter IV tech engine which produces a maximum power of 189 horsepower at 6400 rpm and a maximum torque of 247 with 3900 rpm. The engine type is L4 with the 16 valve and the signature IV Tech dual overhead cam engine. The wheelbase of the car is 2775 mm. Both the front and the rear wheels provides you with the 17 inch forged aluminum alloy rims with a dual tone color as well as the front and the rear brake calibers. Basically they are non-painted but the rims are very good looking. ABS and EBD are standard features on all Honda Accord variant. Now on the very front you can see that we have the LED daytime running lights with the LED front fog lamps as well as the side turn signals on the door mirrors. We have the front line projections as well as the halogen headlamps. Below that you can see that we have the LED fog lights which are extremely powerful with the rear chrome garnishings as well as the front signature chrome grille of the Honda. Automatic wipers, rain detecting with the front radars. On the very left side mirror you can see that we have the Honda Lane Watch with the side mirror camera as well as the LED turn signals. Chrome garnishings on the front doors as well as the rear doors with the chrome garnishings on the door handles which looks very fantastic. The driver's door handle is equipped with the smart entry system. Here we have the sunroof available on the top line variant of the Honda Accord. Moving on the back you can see that we have the strips of the LED backlights as well as the turn signals. A very decent rear backlights with the IV check badge as well as the rear parking sensors for a better safety. On the rear bumper you can see that we have the chrome garnishings running from the side to side as well as the rear dual exhaust with the rear reflectors. High mounted brake lamps and this is the Honda Accord engine with the Earth Dream technology IV check 2.4 liter to open the trunk you will have to depress the button here the amount of capacity we have in the trunk is quite reasonable Spare tires with the equipments. Now simply to start the car using the remote engine start you will have to make sure that the car is locked and hold this button immediately. The other way if you want to start the car is to make sure that the key fob is with you inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the ignition button. Honda is famous for not compromising the interior quality in the Honda Accord which has always been luxurious. You can clearly see that we have garnishings in the wooden panels. A very decent interior with a TFT navigation system as well as a multi information display. Although the seats are fabric but you can get the seats in the leather option. Now for an easy access for the driver we have all the windows fully automatic with the CLS as well as the controls for the side mirror with the fold unfold. Here we have the glossy panels with the garnishings as well as the front tweeters for a better sound system. We have 7 speakers both on the front and the rear sides. Hard plastic material with the contrast stitchings in the leather. The driver's seat is 8 way power adjustable. And this is the Honda signature cabin. As you can see that we have the Honda Accord 
steering wheel with the four spoke sides as well as the garnishings in the glossy looks we also have the panels which provides with the bluetooth as well as the voice command system here we have the cruise control setup as well as the speedometer right here multi information display with the audiometer honda lane key watch with the side cameras here we have the econ meter with the traction control parking sensors and the headlight level lamp now i must always appreciate the fact that honda always provides the customer and the driver with a very useful and a very easy to use instrument cluster as well as the multi information display now the multi information display right here can be controlled from your steering wheel and here we have the navigation system which comprises of the audio the phone settings and the bluetooth and everything you need to know and right below you can see that we have the dual zone climate control below that we have a very attractive console these are the storage compartments with the aux and the usb input as well as a smoker's package right here we have the sunshade control as well as a cvt transmission of the honda accord unfortunately we don't have the automatic a uh, parking brake instead we have this manual lever now the entire console you can simply see that it is entirely garnished with the glossy looks which looks quite attractive and this is the uh, glass holder with the glass holder panels basically these are also chrome garnished and i must appreciate the fact that the honda has never ever compromised on the quality as well as the amount of the decency um, improvised on these panels the front console with the armrest is also stitched in the leather stitchings We have the lighter as well as the storage compartment, which is quite spacious, fairly spacious, I must say. Only if you're thinking that what is the lane key watch as well as the side camera, let me tell you that we have this uh, small button right uh, on the headlight control system, for which you have to press, and the display will be appeared on the navigation system. This is definitely a very handy feature for the driver when parking the car. Now let's give the car some rev. This is the view of the front dashboard. Love box with the illumination, fairly spacious. And now looking on the upper side, we have the sunglass holders, as well as the filament bulbs with the reading lamps. Now right here we have the sunroof with the controls right here, one touch key control system. And wow, I simply love the amount of space we get on the Honda Accord in the rear seats. in terms of the legroom and the headroom space now let's get inside the car we do have the rear ac vents with a very nice touching and now you can see that we have ample amount of space in the legroom quite spacious i just love the arrangement as well as the comfortness level of the rear seats rear console with the rear armrests as well as the cup holders So this is just how the Honda Accord looks like and in my point of view if I personally get the chance to buy the Honda Accord I would love to because um the number one thing which I um, basically consider is the amount of comfortness level and the drive of the car so yeah the Honda Accord has fulfilled my demands so obviously these features which are the SRS airbag on the front as well as the knee airbags and the curtain airbags are quite basic features which you even get on the Toyota Avalon So apart from that you have seen that the Honda Accord is simply remarkably amazing and in a very decent price range you get all these features. So in my point of view I think that this car has a very decent amount of drive as well as the controls. Even though Honda has released the basic and the very new variant of the Honda Accord which I will be reviewing very soon. So stay tuned for the review. Take care and bye bye.